So I'm heading to the Cars and Coffee event and we're going to grab a few shots. Maybe show you some trucks as well. Um, cars and Coffee, lots of Porsches, so... Ooh. And as expected, lots of Porsches here and there, but we got a TVR! TVR! Cars, huh? <laughs> well, definitely, definitely need to take a photo of the Lambo. I don't know who the owner is though. Guess what? We shot the car. Yeah, so we shot the car, but it was a bit too hot. It took double exposures. Um, handheld, we'll see how we can edit that. And later on, but yeah, definitely shot the car. So now apparently I'm going to see a very unique car. All right, so let's go ahead and edit the Lambo. And so far, I took two exposures. One is with an f-stop of 6.3, although I should have done the shutter because otherwise the focus points just like moves around. And the other one is at f10. And fortunately, I shot this handheld and I didn't have my tripod with me. So I moved them to Photoshop open them as layers in Photoshop and I've used the auto align feature in Photoshop and then I use the arrows just to you know fine-tune I couldn't like get it to 100% to match however this is still good so this is the base exposure that we will be working with and then I'm going to add the details mainly I think it's going to be yeah, the rims, mainly the rims, the wheels, nothing else, maybe the sky as well. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm going to put this on a mask, invert it. Oops, what did I do? Yeah, that's better. Okay, take a brush, make sure it's a wide brush. I'll put the flow up. I mean, you can do 100%. I always like to gradually just do it. I mean, 70% is still high. And then I'm going to brush in the details back from the other exposure. And I would use the pen tool, really, just to uh, make sure I don't go over the edges. But, you know, sometimes you get lazy and you don't want to do it that way. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I tend to be lazy sometimes. All right, so we're brushing in, brushing in. Make sure we don't brush in the, just the wheels. So let's see uh, before and after, before. That makes a difference, huh? Kind of like that. All right, brush. Let's continue doing that. I just don't want to overdo it. Let me just remove this. Yeah, that's more like it. All right, we'll do the same with the back wheel. And we're painting in the details back. Well, from the other exposure, definitely, because I shot this at 6.3. I can F-stop of 6.3. Although I should have done, should have done it with the, uh, Yeah, with the shutter speed instead. 
see it's a, a bit blurry it's not in focus but it's okay for Instagram that would work for anything else nah big nah all right so let's see the before after before and after that's cool that's nice I think I'm going just to go ahead and merge those two layers or create a stamp visible tool stamp visible layer sorry and I'm going to start dodging and burning see the before and after that's the before and that's the after it's a very simple and effective way I really recommend doing it on a um, on a tripod because you'll get a better result of course um, one thing I've noticed I might have done it a bit I might have overdone it a bit so the tires look like really too visible I might you know turn it down next time but yeah, this is just for you to understand how blending multiple exposures really work. That's it, amigos. I'll see you in the next video.